So I know a lot of you are from Iowa and some of you are from around Coralville, but you can look around in Coralville and see that the city of Coralville has given huge tax breaks to corporations. They have done it at our expense. We are personally subsidizing corporations in Coralville and they've provided or they've failed to provide affordable housing for all of the people who have gone into these low wage jobs at the Coralville Mall, at what's gonna be Trader Joe's, at the Iowa River Landing, and they don't seem to care. They're continuing to develop. We're gonna have a $25 million arena. But where is our affordable housing for people that live in Coralville? We have a part of Coralville right now that is around the Kirkwood School District where students are being bused to the new Liberty High School and Coralville buses cannot provide them transportation home after school. So if they do not have a ride from one of their parents who are probably working, they do not have transportation back home if they want to uh, participate in extracurricular activities. Things are happening here in Iowa that we can fight, we can run for office. When Bernie said we were the revolution, I took that seriously and I signed up to run for office. I encourage you guys to do the same. When he said to start working within the party, I was nominated for first vice chair of the Johnson County Democrats and got elected for that position. So I go, today I couldn't see Bernie because I was at an executive committee meeting for the Johnson County Democrats. I am trying to help get the vote out for our next elections in 2018. That's my committee. So if you want to help get the vote out, you want to change what's going to happen in 2018, come see me. Come see me. We will get you out canvassing. We will get you knocking doors. We will get you phone banking. We will train you how to do it. We need your help. I'm looking around, I see people right now. Courtney Rowe needs our help. Jody Clemens needs our help. We, Kathy needs our help. We need to help everybody we can to get into office, all of us. I, and I wanna say two more things before I walk off stage. Um, I watch uh, all the time, I, I, I'm on all kinds of Facebook groups. You guys add me to groups all the time. I work with Action Iowa and I, a lot with Indivisible. And I just came back from nationally organizing with the tax march. And I'm wearing this shirt that says, not one penny. And our message is not one penny in tax cuts for wealthy or corporations. Yeah. Not one penny. You can follow not one penny at tax march, hashtag not one penny. We're going to keep fighting for that. Not one penny in tax cuts. The other thing I want to say before I leave is that we really need to come together. We've really got to come together. I watch people in Facebook groups arguing with each other about who's progressive, who's this, who's that. Guys, you got to let it go. We have, there are Nazis with torches in the streets, and we have got to fight this. We are only going to fight it if we come together. All right? And I encourage you guys to walk, look around Iowa. We went to an event where Joni Ernst was recruiting children into the military in Cedar Rapids a few weeks ago, and we were greeted by brown militia in brown shirts called the Oath Keepers. And they told us that they were there because Joni invited them to be there to provide security. All they were doing was intimidating people. And we can't stand for that in Iowa. This is a serious concern that we should all take seriously, and we're only gonna intimidate them if we come together and have bigger numbers. Bigger numbers, all of us. I want us fighting in the streets. I want to see us at the ballot. I want you guys talking to your neighbors. For the love of God, we have got to find compromise. We have got to come together. Republicans, libertarians, independents, they all don't like Donald Trump either. But if we push them away, we're not helping to change anything. So please, please, please talk to your neighbors, talk to each other. Let's come together, let's fight this, let's change what we have to work with in 2018. Please, let's change. Please, let's change. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so glad that Bernie came here and you guys got to see him. I'm gonna keep working for the party. Come to central committee meetings, find us on Facebook. We need your help. We've gotta get the vote out this time, all right guys? Thank you.